kind of a sub gel for um, your little kids, something special. I I've actually done one on a standard of my little daughter, and I just get like her face, like a little hair. It was really cute because she had on a panda costume. But this one I'm going to do on a big boss, so it'll be 13 by 19, and stick around and see if you like it. Okay, I'm going to grab my print off. So this is just a photo, and um, it has not been sublimated yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, the back side is going to be white. It's just going to be the front side. If you do want to do the design on the, um, on the front and the back, the same design, what I've done is you can mirror the design. That way, everything lines up the same way. It just flips it. But when you do sublimate sheets, you do not uh, need to mirror your designs. You just kind of just see. But if you're going to do the same design on the front and the back, then I do recommend mirroring. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to make a template. We don't want it to all adhere together. So the way that you make your template is you're going to leave, um, you're going to cut it smaller so that you stick it in there. And then what happens is you cut it around the design, you leave yourself like a quarter inch. That way that that part will not adhere to the supplement sheets when you repress them together. So if you can pull that out and then that way you'll be able to stuff it. To do that, I'm just going to lay the uh, parchment sheet on top of it. And the parchment paper is thin enough that you can see in between. And then I'm just going to outline. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is cut this because it's Now you want to make sure that you're not using the same scissors that you're cutting your supplement sheets with. The reason being that it's because it's fabric and um, you do not want to dull the blade. So when you cut with paper, when you cut paper, it does dull the blade. So parchment paper is paper and it goes all the way. So you don't want to use the same scissors. So I have to use more paper. So the next thing that you want to do is to lay this on there. And as you can see, I know it's kind of hard to see, I'll hold it up, but you can see I have some design that you can see over that. So that part is not going to, um, this part with the parchment paper is the part that I'm going to remove. And the part where there is no parchment paper, that part is going to stick together. So that way that I just have that one smooth design and pull it out. And I'm going to leave the bottom open. You can cut it before if you like. It, it may make it easier, but I'm just going to cut it after. Then what I'm going to do is lay this over here. Make sure this is the adhesive side. The dull side is the fabric side. And I'm just going to take this and put this on top so that it lines up. Lines up. This one, kind of the same thing. It's easier for especially like when you have like different um, big parts. And this is right on the back. Okay, so there's how it looks now. And you see you have your paper here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and do more of the, uh, the legs. This is one part. Okay, there we go. There's the back. And the next thing that we have to do to get... Now I'm actually, while well, I'm letting that, remember I told you about the um, warm, it's a uh, pull cuts. I'm going to go ahead and trim this out. And this way I can also see where my uh, parchment paper is in there. So that way I can see how close I want to get to the edge. You turn it this way, actually, so that you guys can see it better. I'm going to take this all the way down. Back up close. 
can see it better. I don't know if you'll be able to see in here where that parchment paper is in there, and that's what I'm going to pull out. And then this part, because it hasn't been sublimated yet, but then that gives me this cut here. This is a pretend ruler, meaning that it's really not a ruler or a spatula, but to give you an idea. This one, because it's thinner, go in and then let it uh, spread out. A ruler is good when you have it long and thin, so that way you can push it up. You want to push it all the way up as far as it's going to go. I, I like the ruler because it makes it go quick, or it makes it go easy to. I'm going to cut this part off. I'm just going to go like to the skirt. What I'm going to do is just lay this on here and depress this fabric. Now, why is it going to stick? It's going to stick because remember we have the parchment paper in between it. You can use a mini press. It's really good, especially with gum coloration. It does get up to 400 degrees. However, you're not able to control the temperature. But um, you just get those in here and you can press it. I find it very effective in doing this job. And there that is that adhesive on there. So now the same thing, I'm just going to cut it. And I just lay this one off. What I'm going to do is just trim around. So then she does, oh, I'm going to give her the round one, even though she didn't have it because it got cut off. Okay, and here we are, guys. Hey. You can just play with this just a little bit more, but... Okay, and all right, here we are. This is what we have, our final product. Now, you can make your template a little better than me. Uh, I think this is cute. My daughter loves hers, and I just, I like these. I think these are really cute. So these are, again, um, Hanger Rare Strawberry Treats by ABC Designs for You. And thanks for joining us. Check us out on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And thanks for your time.